Welcome to Lemon Lane Cottage. If you followed me here from Life on Lemon Lane, then you already know my love of all things cottage home and garden. As much as I love sharing those things with you, and I still will from time to time, this channel is going to be about encouraging women to just love their life in the ordinary. I am not here to tell you to consume less, to buy more. That is up to you and what fits your lifestyle and what you feel your heart drawn to. I'm here to encourage you just to be content with what you have, to find beauty in the ordinary. I will bet I'm not so different from you. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, a grandma, a sister, and a friend, and I'm an entrepreneur. But first and foremost, I'm a believer. All of these things give me a unique and yet not so different perspective on life, and that's what I want to share with you. nothing more than to come in after a long day in the garden and take a few minutes and build a puzzle. Not the kind on your computer or on your iPad, but the good old-fashioned kind that you spread up all over the table and that you just can't move for maybe a week or two. Those are the kind of puzzles I like to spend my time building. They just slow down, they relax me, they give me something to look forward to, and hopefully they keep my mind young. I love spending time in the garden growing fresh herbs and vegetables to use in my cooking. I am by no means a chef, I'm just an old fashioned home cook who enjoys using fresh ingredients to feed my family. I love waking up in the morning before anyone else is awake and spending time in the Bible, spending time in a good devotional, just a quiet time when I can reflect and journal and pray about the things that are coming that day. Right now I'm going through Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton and I love this passage. I just had to share it with you today. It fits so perfectly. The sun rises every morning. 
Now to put the matter in a popular phrase, it might be true that the sun rises regularly because it never gets tired of rising. His routine might be due not to lifelessness, but to a rush of life. The thing I mean can be seen, for instance, in children. When they find some game or joke that they especially enjoy, a child kicks his legs rhythmically through excess, not absence, of life because children have a bounding vitality, because they are in spirit fierce and free. Therefore, they want things repeated and unchanged. They always say, do it again, and the grown-up person does it again until he is nearly dead. For grown-up people are not strong enough to exalt in monotony, but perhaps God is strong enough to exalt in monotony it is possible that God says every morning, do it again to the sun, and every evening, do it again to the moon. It may not be automatic necessity that makes all daisies alike. It may be that God makes every daisy separately, but has never got tired of making them. That's what I want to share with you. I want to encourage you to love this ordinary life. My prayer is that you leave here at peace in a wrecked world, that you find goodness and a longing for the world to come. <laughs>